Named after a Canadian poet and doctor who fought in World War I, who is most famously known for his poem In Flanders Fields, John McRae Secondary School is a school that was funded back in 1999 to replace its predecessor, Confederation High School. It's been 20 years since then and John McRae has developed such a rich history for such an amazing school and today I want to delve into that history and see all the great things John McRae Secondary School has accomplished and has to offer. One of the major changes John McRae Secondary School has undergone is a result of its massive appreciation from 1,150 students to 1,400 students in just a span of four years. This has resulted in the staff cutting the lockers in half, shortening the track by 40 meters, and increasing the amount of portables by 11 from 4 to 15, all within the span of just a fifth of the school's lifetime. The appreciation in enrollment within JMSS throughout the year certainly brought about its own set of difficulties, but it wasn't anything the school couldn't handle. However, it wasn't only a bad thing. It actually brought about some beautiful changes for the school throughout the years. I'm told by my predecessors and the people that have been here for a long time that when this school first opened, it was a pretty homogenous group of students. So it was largely a white population. Uh, that has changed significantly. We've become much more multicultural. Uh, we have about 40% visible minorities in the school, which I think is a great thing. So the Barhaven, the, the composition of Barhaven has changed considerably over the years. And of course, that composition of our school has changed for the better, I believe, uh, to have to bring that diversity. So that diversity, that particular change, you know, sort of spurs me to consider things from a different perspective than I might have 10 years ago, uh, you know, considering everybody's um, situation, whether it's their ethnicity or their religion, just being more open to the idea of being inclusive in the school. Both John McRae's diversity and vast selection of different activities causes students to develop a sense of community with one another, teaching them how to cooperate, listen, resolve issues, think of certain things from different perspectives, and so on. One of the things that make the school unique from others is the HPA program. The High Performance Athlete Program is a program that allows athletic students involved in the program to compete in their respective sports and meet the high demands their sport asks of them while maintaining a high quality education. So what we, one of the things we can do with, uh, with the students who have those kinds of needs with their sport, it's, it's about giving them potentially a little bit more flexibility around certain deadlines. Uh, we can do things like we have a lot of students who are missing classes every afternoon, like full afternoons to go away and do their training daily. Mm -hmm. So uh, offering some flexibility in terms of when they can have their courses so that their timetables may be a little bit lighter in the afternoon potentially, uh, or maybe sign up with some online classes or whatever we can to, to try and help school fit around their schedule. John McRae has built up its classrooms to become more spacious over the years and also modernize its computer labs, its scientific laboratories, its workshops and its art studios to allow students uh, involved in courses related to those workspaces to have more practical opportunities and receive higher levels of education. What makes John McRae Secondary School even better is its partnership with the adjacent Walter Baker Center. Walter Baker provides multiple facilities for JMSS students to have access to, such as the public library, as well as sports facilities for physical education students, allowing them to play sports that they don't necessarily have access to within the school itself, such as squash and hockey. When families register at McRae, I always talk about how unique McRae is because 
of the fact that we are attached to the Walter Baker Centre. So we have a very, very robust phys ed program. There aren't a lot of schools where you can take phys ed and you're doing water polo and you're doing ringette and you're doing hockey and you're doing a uh, broom ball and you're playing squash and you're in weight rooms and then in addition to that you're doing all of the um, more common but equally valuable sports like you know volleyball and football and uh, table tennis and you know all of the things that happen kind of in the gym basketball and all of those other sports so it's pretty amazing that you're getting such a an incredibly vast and a diverse program that that students here get when they're taking phys ed so it runs kind of the whole gamut of what you could hope that your child would get um, the second thing that I think is amazing is the fact that we're attached to the public library so when you get your John McRae student card it's awesome. You have our library, but then you have access to all the digital uh, resources and databases that the public library has. You walk next door, you've got all of their physical books as well. And then in addition to that, you've got a nice nook or uh, a computer or a cozy corner or a comfy chair to sit in to study. It gets fantastic. John McCurry has innovated and developed so many aspects of itself that it has become a prime paradigm of the things that a school should provide to its students. Here's to our diversity, to all the opportunities the school provides, to the community we've built over the years. Here's to the HPA program and all the athletes it's helped out, to all the innovations we've made throughout our classrooms and all the facilities that our best bud, Walter Baker, provides us. Here's to John McCray Secondary School.